In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can do unit conversions on your TI-84+. Um, I don't think this is a very widely used or widely known about feature, but this app does come pre-installed on pretty much any TI-84 Plus that you buy today, and it has been around for quite a while. So anyways, if you press the apps key and then scroll down to um, Psy Tools here, and then hit enter, and then enter one more time, you'll wanna go down to the second option here and select Unit Converter. And from here, you'll be brought to this main unit converter menu screen where you can select what type of unit conversion you want to do. And then at the bottom here, you can use these hotkeys um, to select various options that will show up at the bottom of the screen. Using either of these two buttons here, um, you can toggle between the unit converter and the constants screen, which I will get to in a second. But to perform a simple unit conversion, let's say I just want to convert uh, meters to feet, for example, I will press enter on length since I'm converting a length and say I want to convert three meters to feet. Um, I would just enter three and then use the arrow pad to scroll over to meters and select enter there. And if I want that in feet, I would just scroll to feet and press enter and you can see down here my output is 9.8425 feet so 3 meters is equal to that many feet. You can press the graph key which corresponds to edit to edit your entry um, if you want to change that to something else. Uh, say I want 34 inches to feet I can do that and then to go back to the previous menu you just press second mode for quit and that'll take you back here and you can select um, a different unit conversion to do. Uh, I'll just do one more example. Say I wanted to convert one horsepower to watts. That's how I would do that. Very straightforward. So one horsepower is equal to 7.456999 times 10 to the 2 watts or 745.7 ish watts. And then if you press the zoom key here, which corresponds to export, um, it won't do anything immediately, but once you close out of the app by pressing second quit um, several times, you can see it'll output your most recent conversion into the calculation screen. Um, without units, of course, this is just now a regular value, but from here you can do whatever you want to that number like you normally would. So that's pretty much all there is to unit conversion. Um, there's a couple more features uh, with this app that I'll go over right now. Um, so let me just bring it back up here. So if you toggle over to the constants menu, you can see here you get a number of universal constants. Here is acceleration due to gravity on Earth, um, mass of an electron, mass of a proton. And you'll notice all of the units by default are in SI base units. Uh, here's uh, C, the speed of light. And for some of these, let's say you want the speed of light in miles per hour, uh, you can just press trace for copy and then it will automatically bring up the velocity unit conversion section of the app and place the speed of light in meters per second here in the input window. And I can scroll over to miles per hour and select that and it'll give me the speed of light in miles per hour which it's saying is 6.706 uh, times 10 to the 8 miles per hour. So that's pretty convenient but um, it's a little bit ridiculous for some of them because uh, you'll notice here you don't have a conversion option for some things like for example acceleration is not an option on this list but if I go over to the constants um, the gravitational acceleration constant has units of acceleration and if I go to copy again just like I did with the speed of light and try to convert those units it will just bring me back to the unit converter menu from which I can select what units I would like to convert the gravitational acceleration constant from so I could select any one of these which doesn't really make sense uh, 
temperature, for example. So now it just puts the gravitational constant SI value in here with no units on it. And I can select units of temperature and then just do a conversion from there. So that's kind of useless and a little bit confusing that it does that, but just know that if you're in this constant menu and you want to convert one of them, so you go to the copy key and it brings you this instead of just bringing you to uh, the specific unit conversion window, know that converting that constant is not actually an option uh, that's built in, so you'll have to be careful there. But the last thing I'll go over is the final option in the menu here, which is the SI prefixes. This is useful for if you want to know what scaling factor basically is applied to each of the SI prefixes. So say you want to know what 50 watts is in megawatts. So I've just entered 50 here and watts does not have a prefix. So I'll just select base. And then if I want that in megawatts, I would scroll over to M and press enter. And it would tell me that five times 10 to the one watts is five times 10 to the negative five megawatts. So that's how you would use the SI prefixes function. Um, anyways, uh, this unit conversions app doesn't quite have every possible option that you might want, but it does have quite a few and it could come in handy in quite a few situations. So hopefully you found this video useful and thanks for watching.